Just so everybody is on the same page here, just so everybody's on the same page here, because I hear a lot of chatter on the internet until I am told otherwise by like the federal investigators. Uh, you don't think the feds could get it wrong? The feds would love to expose a gambling situation happening in the MLB by their biggest star, especially as sports gambling is growing at the rate in which it's growing. So a lot of people on the internet, the feds are covering this up for the MLB. You think that's how that goes? That is not normally how that goes. Mm -hmm. Just as a kind of a, I don't wanna say there's egos and pride and legacies and things like that that are on, but that is real with humans that we're talking about. So as we say all that, we gotta remember, this guy right here is a piece of shit. Okay, <laughs> this needs to be known from everything that we know right now. This is one of the biggest piece of shits in the history of sports. This guy took advantage of the fact that he was the ears and the mouth of the biggest baseball star on earth to the tune of $16 million with another $24 million owed. This guy sucks at gambling. Mm -hmm. He sucks yeah. as a translator. He sucks as a person. And we need to remember that forever. This is a piece of shit who robbed Shohei Otani of millions, and millions of dollars. Now, the, allegedly. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, did I get that wrong? Uh, is there any, because didn't he admit this? I've, I already admitted this. There's a guilty plea taking place. What do we know about this entire yeah. scene right now? To this point, there is no guilty plea. So all of this that you just laid out, Pat, is in a complaint from the federal government. And look, I've read through a lot of criminal complaints before. The 37 pages that are outlined here laying the case that Ipe Mitsuhara did steal 16 plus million dollars from Shohei Otani. It's one of the tightest, most concise, detailed, damning complaints that I've read. Now, there is a possibility that there's a giant conspiracy going on that involves Otani, Mitsuhara, the Los Angeles Dodgers, the Los Angeles Angels, the federal government, accountants, <laughs> agents, what? tax people, what? like uh, investment people. There's also the possibility that the dude just stole $16 million from his friend. And that seems to be, based on all of the evidence laid out in the complaint, the far more plausible possibility. And, you know, for I'm glad you brought up the point about what the federal government would prefer. You think there's not an agent out there who wants to make his career on the Shohei Otani case? Like, that's that's the thing you have to, like, keep in mind here. Especially with but sports course, gambling, with where sports gambling is going right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. They, like, every single detective out there would prefer to get the high-profile pelt on his wall rather than the guy, uh, you know, who looks like someone from No Country for Old Men. Sure. Like, he's okay. got the haircut. True. You know, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a vibe. There's a lot of documentaries about such instances. Now, there's also very good uh, agencies and agents in every government. We obviously uh, know that. But there are of certainly course. people who have utilized their positions of power to try to create a name and a legacy for themselves that, you know, they're heroes, which all of them technically are. Some of them abuse their power in a fashion that is, you know, absurd. This would be one that I, I think both... Crooked agents, if they still exist, they do. Uh, we'll assume they don't, but crooked agents. And also straight agents would want, because what sports gambling is becoming, and this is a depiction of it almost, like there's some people that just get addicted to this thing, oh, yeah. and there's no way out. And now, granted, he is a piece of shit of a human for taking advantage of his friend and the access that he had and, you know, the trust that was bestowed upon him by Shohei Otani and... I guess a lot of people could also say, so it's easy to gamble when you just have $100 million of somebody else's money <laughs> mm -hmm. to gamble with. You can he make it back. He, he gambled so much. He get, like that was so many bets. That, that was like that was the part of the complaint. Well, baseball so boring. Mm -hmm. You know, baseball <laughs> on so many things. He's no, just sitting there in the dugout. He's like, geez, Louise, is there anything else going on in the world? Oh, good. I mean, it was it was nineteen thousand plus wagers at an average of twelve thousand dollars a wager, which is Jeez. like which is wild. Somebody to else's me. money. Yeah. L good units. Losses of $183 million. And I mean, he could turn around to you, Pat, saying that he's such a terrible gambler and say, Pat, I want $140 million worth of bets. Yeah. How yeah. bad can I be? Yeah, you're, you're net negative 40 million. 
That's how bad you are. Okay, you are very bad. And obviously, we've heard about other gambling addictions that have led to things. And there's people currently battling through gambling addictions. And I think that's why, like, regulated books are a big deal if we're going to have this whole thing. Because this was with a legal book, offshore book. And there's even text messages to Ipe about this one bookie uh, or at least one of his people. Ian Shohei Otani walking his dog and being like, I see him right mm-hmm. now. You owe me $24 million or whatever. It's like, that's the old sports gambling world. The CD underworld, the break your finger. Hey, you don't do this. I'll show up and kill you. Like that type of stuff is what it used to be. Now with, you know, legalization of sports books, I'm not saying it's the end all be all for these types of addictions and issues. And obviously that's going to continue. And we hope that it stops. And we pray that it stops to all the gods and the lords up there. But it's like regulated so they can save and protect people. Like, hey, you've reached your max limit. You've lost too much money. You were on a losing streak. You, they will cut you off from your own account. I don't know if you'd be able to lose 16 million in legal sports books. You certainly can with an offshore account being run by an illegal bookie, though. And I hope this all gets settled. But we need to remember that Ipe prayed on Shohei. Ipe, if this is true, Ipe is a piece of shit. And everybody that's attacking Shohei in this entire thing, it's like. This dude just got robbed by his best friend. Like, probably mm-hmm. a guy he viewed as his which, brother which, at some point. See, here, here's the thing. I think this is an important point. He's not the first athlete ever to yeah. go out and lose a ton of money when somebody close to him took advantage of him, yes. right? This, this is a story that has existed as long as professional athletes have gotten paid really well. Um, you know, when you're an athlete – so much of your bandwidth, so much of everything that's going on up here is dedicated and devoted to your craft. You need to put 100% of your resources in just to survive in a professional sports league, let alone become one of the best players that we've ever seen, as is the case with Shohei Otani. And when you combine that sort of – I'm not even going to call it dedication, but that sort of single-mindedness toward your craft – along with the fact that you make so much money both on and off the field that you are rich beyond compare, you know, it's it's very easy for something like this to slip by. And and that's what, you know, people ask me, how can you lose $16 million? Well, at, at what point does that number become alarming to say, how can you lose this? Is it $5 million? Is it $10 million? Is it? It's all the same when you have that much money and you're not a super materialistic person who's going and looking to spend it. So my family's paycheck to paycheck, obviously, growing up. And the amount of money that I was paid to kick a ball is so stupid. Absolutely. So, so stupid. Now they're making money off you know, what the team is doing. For sure. And I'm riding the coattails. But, like, the way somebody who, you know, doesn't have money versus whenever you have the way you view things right. a little bit different, you know? It used to be on our intro, it was like, so you're supposed to, I'm supposed to say no to something I could definitely afford that I want. You know, I'm supposed to do that. I had that issue. Then there's other guys that are like, I don't want to see my money. And they view it as like, I'm this. I'm a professional at this. I'm going to hire a professional at this. They take care of it. I'll meet back in 10 years from now. I'm not using any of my money at all. And it's like, for that person, so there has to be another person involved. Like his financial people have to be involved too because Ipe would be talking to them, right? Wouldn't that be who Ipe is talking well, to? Well, yeah, and, and that's the, the big flaw in this situation and where everything fell apart was that there was trust in Ipe Mitsuhara. That they trusted him because Shohei essentially said, you need to trust this guy. He is my voice to the world, and so he's going to be my voice to you as well. There was no restrictor plate in place, though. There was no fail-safe if something's wrong with Ipe, which, you know, allegedly there quite clearly was. And, you know, when when you have that one person who everything is going through – that's where the problems can start. Yeah, I'd say. They're just needed. There needed to be a backup here. There needed to be someone, whether it's at his agency or otherwise, who was able to to double check. Because when you're dealing with sums of of nine figures, and not like low nine figures either, you know, by the end of his contract, Shohei Otani is going to be a billionaire, right? Sheesh. When you're dealing with money of that magnitude. Uh, it, it can't just be a, a translator who you met over in Japan. Like, there needs to be something there to protect the guy. 
Didn't he say he went to a school too and that wasn't true? It's like, it pays a hustler, dude. Yeah. Prayed on Shohei, yeah. got in so deep that it all blew up in his face. Now, there could be a recovery story. Not a $16 million, obviously, but it pay, when you pay the piper, which allegedly is definitely going to be taking place, we hope you come back on the other side and tell your story about, you know, gambling addiction, taking advantage of friends and all that type of stuff. There is good that could potentially come from this, but until we find out anything different, Ipe Mitsuhara is a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I'm tired of people talking about Shohei. It's like, I have friends around the NFL that have been financial people have taken advantage of. They lost, like, a lot of money. And it's like, yeah. to, if think about how they feel. They, Shohei feels like an idiot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like Shohei moron. feels like an idiot deep down. How did I let this happen right in front of my eyes? Everything question that people are asking about. How do you not notice 16? Shohei's like, how do I not? And now he spoke English a little bit. Especially yep. how private he is. And how private he keeps everything. Off the, yeah, what everything is happening mm -hmm. everywhere. So, Shohei, hey, we're behind you. You can't understand what we're saying, but. Good luck. New interpreter. He, he understands. Tell you. He understands. Well, well, how, already? Well, he doesn't he understand. understands English that quickly? Oh, uh, no, he no, he has understood uh, like this whole uh -oh. he's not fluent thing that's been out there. Hold on. He may not be fluent like we are, but so he can, I've, I've, wait, I agree. I've, I agree had, I've had a conversation with him in English before. What? Did you say like, 10 million, 16 million? Did you yeah. say any of those words? How fluent are we talking? I mean, he's perfectly capable of holding a conversation in English, both according to my experience as well as the teammates uh -oh. who have talked with him. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, Jet. Thanks for that information. No, I don't. Because now the question is, well, why no. not hear Rip Bay was talking? To <laughs> no, no. But here, here's the thing. On his phone, it, playing like, brick breaker. <laughs> while they're, while they're, no, he's watching film. We, he's watching. Well, film. did your teammates that got taken advantage? Did they? No, speak but English? the. They did, but it, I, I, yeah, but you're right. I, 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 counterpoint. Thank you, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. You're 100 right. Oh, Go ahead, AJ. Just Go waiting. Ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, we figured it out over here. Jay. We don't want awards for journalism. We got to figure it out in real time. Go ahead, AJ. No, let me let me let me say let me say this though, because this is from the criminal complaint. Um, there were thousands and thousands of pages of texts between Shohei Otani and Ipe Mitsuhara, and in them. There was not one mention either straightforward or using slang that tied it at all to knowledge of gambling going on. Now, I, I think it's reasonable to say if you spend as much time around this guy as you do, could he really hide this for as long as he allegedly did? Like what the you know, the question of what Otani knew when he knew it is an understandable one. But Human beings are really good at hiding things. And I don't think we should look past the ability for people who are in clearly a terrible situation to try and hide it from those about whom they, you know, are supposed to care. Yeah, praying on. Go ahead, AJ. Jet, so how, how do they go about finding Shohei, the new interpreter? And I would imagine this new oh. interpreter is not going to have as much power and access as Ipe, because I know what, wasn't the, didn't the manager even come out and say they felt kind of isolated? Shohei was isolated because of Ipe yeah. and what they were doing? The home run ball. Yeah, the new interpreter is named oh, yeah. Will Ireton. He's worked for the Dodgers for a while now, and he did some interpreting in the past and then joined the organization uh, in a, you know, in a baseball operations role. And there's a lot of trust right there between the organization and the interpreter, but you know, between the player and the interpreter, that takes time to build. And and that's why Ipe Mitsuhara was around, I think, for as long as he was, because he had Shohei Otani's implicit trust, like everything. I mean, his if you think about it, his life, Otani's life, the way that it was presented to the American public was strictly dependent on Ipe Mitsuhara. Oh, so he, how many wrong yeah. things has he said in those post-game interviews? Oh. From this, like we can't. I don't even want to get into the little things. <laughs> this guy, uh, there's no soup here tonight, Shohei. There is. <laughs> How many things did he lie about? This son of a bitch. Allegedly. Well, there is also the new story yeah. with the interpreter, the new interpreter, about how. Oh, oh. Yeah. Double. It's a double. Get two. 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 Embarrassed. Oh, Look at the streak hey, on the push floor. Back. Look push at the streak back. on the floor. It's good recovery. Hey. Good work. Good slot. Way to push him. Patrick. Way to push him. I'm a cowboy. I'm a snake skin. I slid in the second.
kind of shoes are you wearing? I don't know. Could have been triple. Cowboy close. boots, Jet. Great base running. Get held up at second base. Not trying to, you know, yeah, make first out of the inning at third yeah, base. I was trying to go to third, but, you know, I had to stop did there. Did you just quick. say that was great base running? Yeah. Yes. Sure did, yeah. Pushed him. And it was just double. What are we even talking about? You're not here, Jet. You can't see. Yeah, he was pushing bags. The I mean, outfielders. Snake skins. I have eyes. I can see. Mm. Base running sucks. Around job. Oh, oh Jack, they're going to take your award. You keep saying dumb shit like that. <laughs> I'm going to let you know that. But it didn't some last thing about Shohei here. Wasn't there something about like a home run ball? Yes. Yeah. And, and then the interpreter lied. The new interpreter, yeah. Well, we don't know. Allegedly what. lied. And then the team had to say something. Then Shohei had to do something. Now they're part of the team, the people that had the ball. What, what happened? Wasn't the interpreter, don't we have a situation already happen? I don't know a whole lot about that. What was reported? Uh, what? Okay. There we go. What was what was reported was that there was a home run ball and that they tried to separate a, a husband and wife yep. and leverage them and try and get the best deal that they possibly could. The, the the issue the big issue is that you can't get balls authenticated that are caught in the stands unless they have like a special marking on them and the only balls that get special markings uh, are ones that are around milestones. And Major League Baseball should have a more expanded uh, program so that you can get it authenticated and then go home with it so you don't feel pressured or cajoled into giving it up. But, you know, in, in the situation with Aaron Judge, um, you know, when when his uh, record-setting home run in the American League was caught down in Texas, they got the ball authenticated and the dude just – left the ballpark and put it up for auction later on. So uh, it's, it, yeah. listen, it is easy. <laughs> it is easy to say no. You don't have to say yes if you're a fan. Yeah, but Mike Evans, Tom Brady situation. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They, they uh, and then they then they auctioned that ball and then he kept playing. <laughs> well, not only that, but <laughs> the offer in which it was was like, you pair of gloves. Oh, yeah. Two yeah. high fives. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Huh? Big uh -huh. water bottle spray. Yeah. Sandwich, yeah. maybe. How about it? And they gave it up and the internet was like, you idiot. You <laughs> absolute doofus. What a bad business decision.